are watching white feet. Bad weather is all around the country. Canceled school days were favorite holidays, and most of the time, it is because of approaching typhoon. Now, look how disastrous this typhoon is. This is an example of typhoon that destroyed the agriculture and infrastructure of certain regions in the Philippines. It is really devastating. Being aware of our weather is very important. That's why our topic for this time is all about tropical cyclone, factors affecting typhoons, and Philippine typhoons. I am, Maria Hazel is here just to give you this information. So, let's define first tropical cyclone. A tropical cyclone is a rapid rotating storm system characterized by a low pressure center, a close low level atmospheric circulation, strong winds, and a spiral arrangement of thunderstorms that produces heavy rain. As you can see in the picture, a tropical cyclone is referred to by many names, such as hurricane, typhoon, and cyclone, depending on its location and its strength. Weather disturbances happen in the troposphere. There are factors that affect typhoons. One of these factors is the sea surface temperature. Typhoons gain their energy from moisture that evaporates from warm ocean water. Therefore, typhoon will weaken if the water is not warm enough. The next factor is the moisture. Even with warm water, a typhoon can encounter dry air masses which can enter into a typhoon and weaken it to prevent from strengthening. Another factor is the depth of warm water. The waves of a typhoon tend to churn up the ocean, bringing up cooler water from deep down. If the warm water extends deep, a, a storm can strengthen further. Another factor that greatly affects typhoon is the land. A typhoon that strikes a large landmass will be cut off from its power source and fairly quickly degenerate into remnant low pressure. And the last factor is the Coriolis force. Coriolis force is an effect of Earth's rotation that causes large-scale weather systems to rotate. If there is enough Coriolis force, a low-pressure center develops. Typhoons depend on these factors to remain organized. A typhoon that wanders too close to the equator will lose this effect and degenerate into a disorganized cluster of thunderstorms. So be thankful if you're living in a cyclone-free country, if there is. After discussing the factors that affect typhoon, let's talk about the Philippine typhoon. In the Philippines, tropical cyclones are called typhoon or bagyo. Tropical cyclones entering the Philippine area of responsibility are given name by the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or also known as TAGASA, which also raises public storm signal warning as deemed necessary. Around 19 tropical cyclones enter the Philippine area of responsibility in a typical year, and of these, usually 6 to 9 make landfall. 6 to 9 landfall in a year? That's kind of devastating. Trivia, did you know that Philippines is considered one of the typhoon-prone areas in the world? Do you know why? It's because Philippines is located near the Pacific Ocean where cyclones usually develop. So the main reason is geographical location of the Philippines. The most destructive typhoons in the Philippines are Pablo, Pepeng, Pedrin, Undoy, Rusing, and many more that caused thousands of deaths and destroyed agriculture and infrastructure that caused about billions of loss. But then, Typhoon Yolanda, one of the strongest Tropical cyclones ever recorded, which devastated portions of Southeast Asia, particularly the Philippines. It is the deadliest Philippine typhoon on record, killing at least 6,300 people in the Philippines alone. Pagasa uses weather instruments such as Doppler weather radars that are installed in some strategic places in the Philippines to monitor the typhoon and its movement, the amount of rainfall, and daily atmospheric forecasts. There is also automated rain gauge that monitors excess rainfall and provides warning signals. And of course, they use the basic weather instruments such as barometer, which measures air pressure, anemometer, which measures wind speed, wind vane that determines the direction of the wind, and hygrometer, which measures the water vapor content of air or humidity. Now you know tropical cyclones. 
factors affecting typhoons, and Philippine typhoons. I hope to gain lots of information and be back for another lesson to be discussed. For more information and to measure your understanding, please visit my page. Just click the link that is given below. Thank you.